Welcome to Community Corner. I'm your host, Melody Callahan. Joining me in the studio today, I've got Miss Rhonda Buller Dutton and Malia Evers, and we are going to talk about all things Columbus County Youth and Families Association, right? Yeah, that's right. So, I uh, thank y'all for coming out and talking with me today. It's always fun to have y'all in the studio. We appreciate your letting us come. <laughs> so, tell us um, a little bit about the association. Okay, Columbus County Youth and Families is a nonprofit organization. And basically what we do is we raise the money in Columbus County and we turn around and give it back to Columbus County, um, helping it with programs. Um, this year we gave three um, scholarships to Southeastern. Mm -hmm. um, we give to all the nonprofits just about they're doing anything. Just, just a way of helping others um, to be able to do things that we would do if we had our own facility or if we had um, a YMCA or that right. type thing. Now, do y'all have officers or um, is everyone that helps with, with this are volunteers, right? That That's, is correct. There's mm -hmm. no paid positions. Um, I'm the president CEO. Um, Selena, Dr. Selena Rao mm -hmm. is the chairwoman. And Malia is our everything. <laughs> she is our treasurer and our secretary. Um, Frances Burge did it for years, and then her eyesight got really bad, so she was not able to do the treasure anymore. So mm -hmm. Malia says she would do it. So she and I kind of limp along and try to get it done <laughs> as best as we can. Yes. And now, of course, mm -hmm. one of our officers, um, our vice chairwoman, Wanda Davis, passed away a couple months ago. So Now, what about um, funding? How are you able to fund all of these wonderful things that you give back to the community? Well, ever since, I don't even know when they started, but <laughs> since I've been a part in the 90s, um, we have had a tips dinner or Taste of Columbus, that's what we've called it most recently mm -hmm. in the last several years. And that is our main fundraiser for um, being able to donate money back to the different organizations that do things for um, youth and families mm -hmm. um, in our community. So. so Taste of Columbus, that is your main fundraising event. Yes. All right, so tell me a little bit about that event. Okay, so what we do is we have um, chefs and celebrity chefs, and those are our adults, and mm -hmm. then the chefs in training are our youth mm -hmm. that participate, and what they do is they prepare um, any dish that they care to prepare, and it can fit in one of our seven categories. So we have everything from beverages, um, appetizers, main dish, side mm -hmm. dish, um, breads, and desserts. So any category um, they can fit in um, one of those. Mm -hmm. and, or more. Or, like, yeah, or more, more yes. Yeah. Some of them do more than one. And it you know, is a way to focus on some of our maybe local caterers mm -hmm. or even restaurants have participated or just anybody who enjoys or has a love to cook. Mm -hmm. Like your kids have done it. That's right. right. <laughs> yeah, they have. Um, so they prepare, prepare our food instead of hiring, and you know, a single caterer to come right. and do the event mm -hmm. and a way to pay or reward um, their participation and help cover some of their costs is um, the people who attend the event actually vote on their favorite. So whoever has the most votes in each category is mm -hmm. our first place winner and then we have like a grand prize overall um, for um, the best chef and the best chef in training so they get the grand prize um, for the event and it's a lot of fun um, everybody usually enjoys it and comes away with way more food than they can probably eat um, so it might be several plates of food um, even though it's supposed to just be a taste um, right. but we've had really great participation from the community in coming out and being um, chefs. And so chefs are, there, are there tickets or table sponsors or um, how does that work? Uh, we have celebrity hosts and they are responsible for inviting their guests to sit at their table mm -hmm. um, or if somebody who just wants to come if they have an opening at their table. Um, Rhonda usually has some extra spaces <laughs> yeah. and tables for people to come in. Um, that don't maybe have a, a specific table assignment mm -hmm. um, for the event, and they can come and participate as well. 
And each year is a different theme. Mm -hmm. Do you know what the theme for this year's is going to be yet? Summer vibes. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. <laughs> yeah, it'll be February and everybody's ready for uh, warmer weather. And, um, so so the, the food, um, does it tend to match the theme or is it pretty much whatever you want to do? It doesn't have to. It doesn't but have some to. Some people do decorate their, their table to... Mm -hmm. um, for whatever the thing is, right? But they don't have to prepare food that is just for the summertime or whatever. It can be whatever they want to want to do. And all of the money that is raised goes back in the pot mm -hmm. to fund the scholarships and all of the other community projects that you mm -hmm. all support. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Are there any other fundraising events um, they all have throughout the year? No, we just do this one. The uh, we have done some others in the past, mm -hmm. but this seems to be the the one that everybody looks forward to. If we don't do it, everybody's wanting to know when we're bringing it back. That's so, right. That's right. Um, that was the first thing during COVID. People were saying, "When's it coming mm -hmm. back?" Because we miss it. Because we tried doing it. We did it online a couple of years during right. COVID, but it just wasn't like the. The, um, the real thing. The, the real thing, baby. Yeah. And, and do you uh, have course, sponsors? We do. Uh -huh. um, Malia's got a list of the sponsors we had this past year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we had Truist, Columbus County Fair, International Paper, United Bank, Farm Bureau, Columbus Regional Healthcare, uh, Lauren Cole, State Farm, um, West Columbus Woodman Life Lodge, and Betty Henson, Suggs and Associates, which was Terry Suggs, Worthington Funeral Home, People's Funeral Home, Suzanne King, Southeastern Community College was one of our sponsors as well. Yeah. Joe's Wrecker Service, um, Joe Jacobs, and then Pro Civil Services, David Dutton and Mary Kay, um, Representative Teresa Clifton. Was That's a lot of support. Mm -hmm. We had the, the most sponsors um, this past year that we've ever had. And then we had a lot of in-kind sponsorships as well as mm -hmm. maybe not a monetary thing, but um, people that helped us with various things like Western Prong, um, allowing us to use their facility, that kind of thing. Uh, and of course, you know, our MC and our um, Dr. Um, Brooks coming with his entertainment mm -hmm. and Mr. Price coming with his photography. And there's just a lot of things that go into an right. event like this. And then, of course, we had our celebrity host and hostess that we talked about, and um, they did a fabulous job this year of decorating their tables. And there's a prize for that as well. Um, the, there's uh, judges that they don't know who they are go around and mm -hmm. decide who um, has the best decorated table for the event. And, as um, well as costume. That's right, and costume too. And what about a silent auction? We do yeah. have do a silent auction, okay. um, so we have lots of different uh, items that people donate. Um, we even had the um, daughter's ring, mm -hmm. um, and so that can be done with a ceremony as well, so that's pretty pretty special. Yeah, Collier's Jewelers donates that for us each year, mm -hmm. and we have had several um, ceremonies during our taste of Columbus of the daddy presenting it to Aww. his daughter and having the ceremony and that's very touching. Yeah, I'm sure. Now, do y'all meet regularly or are there are scheduled meetings? You know, I'm just thinking if, if there's somebody tuning in today mm -hmm. that would like to get involved, um, this will be a, a great opportunity for them. How does one go about that? We meet the first um, Tuesday of each month um, and this coming uh, September the 5th, we're going to have it at Joe's at 12 o'clock. We, okay. we switch it around and go to different places mm -hmm. and kind of spread the love around. But, <laughs> but yes, we'd love to have, there's no membership fee or anything like that. Like mm -hmm. we said before, everybody's a volunteer. Right. Just show up and see pitch what you in. can do to help them pitch in. Exactly. Right. Now, scholarships, that, that those are the main um, things that y'all fund. Yeah, right. I know you said community projects and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. but but y'all do. Y'all know you mentioned the college, but you do other scholarships as well, right? Uh, yes. To all the area high schools, right? Well, the no. The, How does that um, work? 
one of the one of the scholarships that we give is at Whitefield High School mm -hmm. to attend Southeastern, um, and then the others um, are filtered in from the other high schools through Southeastern. And okay. So, and Southeastern selects who gets that. And this mm -hmm. particular year, um, which isn't the first time that we've given three scholarships, but this this past year we will, or this year I guess I should say we will have given three. Okay. And they're in all different areas. It doesn't have to be a student just graduating from high school. We have done a scholarship for an adult that's coming back mm -hmm. that just needs a little extra support. Is there an application for that? Or like, how do you find the recipients? Does someone nominate them? or They let the um, counselor at the school know. Mm -hmm. And then they let, um, the I guess, the counselors at Southeastern know that they're okay. interested in it. Okay. All right. So is there anything else that you'd like folks to know? Well, we wanted to say what our sponsorship levels are. Malia yeah. came up with that for the Summer Vibes. Um, 500 and up is Big Kahuna. 400 to $499 is Ohana. Ohana. Ohana, Hawaiian for family. 300 to 399 is Sandcastle. 200 to 299 is Sand Dollar. Uh, 100 to 199 is Aloha, and 50 to 99 is Clamshell. So um, we're going to be looking for... Very some. creative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's plenty of ways that folks can help with this event. Yes. <clears throat> and there's lots of opportunities for folks to be able to volunteer and, and help. Yes, so. and the ambassadors from Southeastern mm -hmm. have helped us in the past. We hope that they will this year, the oh, juniorettes. Sure. Whiteful Juniorettes have been a huge help to us as well. Mm -hmm. And last year, Will Souls, he stayed the whole day with me, bless his heart, and helped that night. So he was a blessing. He helped um, load in and out stuff. So okay. that, that was a big help. So any volunteers like that, we give them community service credits for doing that. They get okay. a certificate for each hour they help us. We give them a, a 1.0 credit. Okay. And if they bring in any sponsors or... Um, they help us with any kind of auction items. We give them credit for that as well. Okay, very good. Well, thanks y'all for, for joining me today. Lots of great information and um, cannot wait for next year's Taste of Columbus. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. All right, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you stop by again real soon so you can see how we continue to open doors to opportunities here at Southeastern Community College.